to take you back two years ago, the, the Home Secretary at that time met with myself, the Mayor of Greater Manchester and the Deputy Mayor for Policing, and she undertook that she would deport those members of the Rochdale Grooming Gang who were not British nationals. Now, for two years I've been trying to get some update on this. I raised it on the floor of the House and the, uh, the, the Home Secretary asked the Junior Minister to say that she would meet me um, uh, and this was November of the Home Office questions. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Sexual abuse and grooming of our young women and men is also a heinous crime. And it's out outrageous that victims should come into contact with the perpetrators after those perpetrators are, re are released from prison. Successive Home Secretaries have promised me, the present Home Secretary directly, that the action would be taken where appropriate to deport those perpetrators. Can we know what progress has been made? And if there's been no progress, will the Home Secretary agree to meet with me? Minister. I thank the Honourable Gentleman for his question. And actually, my Honourable Friend, the Home Secretary, has indicated that she'd be very happy to meet with him. We all recognise the need to, to tackle these absolutely disgusting crimes, and I'm sure that the whole House would support what he's asking for. In February's Home Office questions, having got no meeting, I raise this again. The Home Secretary once again undertook that she would meet me. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The, the uh, Home Secretary has uh, talked in a very muscular fashion about the need for exemplary punishment for those who are perpetrators of violence against women and girls. She will recall that she committed to the deportation, where appropriate, of those who were offenders in, in Rochdale and indeed in other parts of the country. She also committed to meeting with me to discuss this and I still await that meeting. Can we have an update? Absolutely. And um, right on the gentleman is absolutely right. I can't speak about that case in the House and he will know exactly why. I will meet with him to go through the specific details. I've now had the response from her office that the Home Secretary is too busy and would I meet um, a junior minister. The point of order for you, Madam Deputy Speaker, is this. I'm not asking you to say whether um, the, uh, the, the Home Secretary is, is embarrassed, I'm sure she is, about her failure to deliver, that whether she's sufficiently in charge of her departments, which she's clearly not. Those are not questions for you. But there is a real issue about any a government minister giving an undertaking to any honourable member that they would, they would meet and then ultimately refusing that meeting because this is not accountability and this is what this parliament is about. How can, I wonder, you help me in the pursuit of a real answer to the needs of the women who are the victims of the, the child abuses? Uh, well, I'm grateful to the right honourable member um, for his point of order and giving me notice of it. Um, it is absolutely right to say that if a particular minister commits personally to meeting a member, then uh, that minister should deliver on that um, commitment. And it certainly sounds as though in this case, um, the right honourable gentleman is being kept um, waiting for the meeting that was promised for too long. Um, so I do hope that the Treasury benchers will act on this exchange and make sure um, that the Right Honourable Gentleman is offered a meeting with the Home Secretary very soon. Thank you.